Guys, what's happening? Welcome to the second episode of Twerking Taste Buds. I'm your host, A, or the Stir Fry Master. And today we're gonna be making Lao Papaya Salad, okay? AKA Tamahong. So let's get it poppin'. Come with me, I ride with the realest. This one you won't ever see again. Smoking up a cloud in the beauty. All right, guys, first things first, the most important thing that you do need is right in front of me, right here. This is in Lao, is sag and kok, and in English, it is mortal pesto. So these two things, smash it up, and you know what? You make gold out of this, okay? So you'll need this. On this side, we have our fresh ingredients. So you're gonna need one raw papaya. Is it raw papaya or a not ripe papaya, I guess. Um, we're gonna have, we have some limes here. We have some Thai chilies. We have some cherry tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes if you like to, but I'm a bougie bitch, so I use cherry tomatoes. Bitch is bad and bougie is bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. And uh, some garlic, okay? So this is the fresh side. So the seasoning on this side, guys. Now, I just wanna say, if you're lucky to have a mom or grandma that cooks you fresh padek to have at home, lucky you, boo-hoo, I'm jealous. I don't have that, Aww. but this is millennial cooking. So I'm gonna show you where, where you can get from the market and it still tastes as good. So I have fish sauce here, the most important thing. This is like water to me. Um, kapi, very important. This is shrimp paste. So the best aroma ever. Like, I want to lick it right now. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. And padak is basically fermented fish sauce. So if you motherfuckers think the fish sauce stank, you don't even know what's up with padak, okay? Stinky. Um, okay. Next up, we have some salt. And uh, guilt-free, I'm putting some MSG in, some mind your biz. Yeah. And uh, as I say, I don't eat sugar in this house. But, so I'm using a sugar substitute. I use monk fruit sweetener, I really like it. Um, but you can use sugar if you like. All right, let's start cooking. So I'm gonna teach you how to prep the papaya first. Um, I'm gonna skin it real quick. And uh, you can get this at any Asian market. And I know a lot of people are not familiar that you see the ripe ones um, at the stores, but we use the raw ladies. So this process, what I'm gonna do in Lao is actually called fuck. So we're gonna fuck the papaya. <laughs> um, so basically this is how it goes. So everybody has their own way of doing it. For me, I like big pieces, small pieces because every bite is different. You know, I want a crunchy bite. I want like a small piece, but like super savory in the sauce, all of that. But what you do is this is how you fuck the papaya, basically. You go like this. Let me get a plate though. You go like that and then, whoop, wrong one. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me get a plate, okay. So you go like this and then you slice it. You see, so it's like, strands so you know you can make i like doing different sizes so some people like consistency so every bite tastes the same but why would you want everybody to taste the same you can taste all different types of flavors and textures you know okay guys so i have finished fucking the papaya and it looked like this you see different sizes oh i'm excited oh it's gonna be spicy as hell too i like it super super spicy because you know oh one fell in here if you don't eat spicy, you know, it just reminds you how alive you are, you know what I mean? Like, you are really not dead, bitch, because you wanna die. So that's how you know you alive. I gotta die. Okay, give it to me, it's gosh! Ah, 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 ah. So, okay, first things first, let's make the sauce, okay? So we are going to put in some chili pepper. Now. It depends how many you want. Personally, for me, I like eight to 10 because I am a spicy bitch. But usually four to five is, you know, a level three or four. Well, I don't know. I just feel like these levels are so subjective. You know what I mean? Like white people level and minority level is different. 
I mean, I guess it's not everything in life, right? We'll talk about that later. So I think I put seven or eight in this bitch. Um, there. And garlic, you can put two, three uh, cloves. Are these called cloves? <laughs> two, three cloves of garlic. I put four. Because <laughs> I do what I want. Come on, you business. So we put that, and then here, let's see. I'm going to use my sugar, right? So I would say one tablespoon. Damn! You have to put a little bit more because I, this is sweeter than sugar. That's why I only put that. And I'll put a little salt to counter the sugar. And my nails are so long, it won't open. Oh, by the way, my nails say stir fry on them. How bossy is that? Not bossy enough because a bitch can't do anything. Hold up, let me see. There we go. So this, just a sprinkle. A little sprinkle of salt. Now comes the MSG, bitch. Mind your biz, okay? Because I'll put like, I, I like two or three sprinkles of this. All right. Let's start smashing this. So we are going to smash this until it turns into paste. Now I'm a pro, so it doesn't really, I put the the sugar and, oh my God, something failed. I put the sugar and the salt in there, in there, so when I'm smashing it, like the chili does not flick on my face. But I'm a pro though, so, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen to you. When I was a little girl, I would help my mom in the kitchen and I would wear sunglasses while smashing and making sauce and all that stuff. I thought I was so smart. <laughs> okay guys, so finally it has gone into paste. So this would usually take two to three minutes. And next up, we are gonna put some fish sauce in. The most exciting part. I love fish sauce. Open this bitch. Okay, so I'ma say like, cause you know I'm an eyeball queen. I would say like two and a half tablespoon. Put it in there. Ooh, it smells so good. Mix that around. Now the limes. Okay, so I like my. Everybody likes a papaya salad different. Some people like salty, cause it's salty as hoes. I like my shit sweet and sour. Because I'm sweet. Sour on bad days. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Who the fuck says that? Okay. Uh, let's start with one first. Because you never know. You know what I mean? You never know. Because there's no clearly no rust up here. So let's squeeze. I'm so excited, guys. Because I'll be eating everything. I, when I sh show you guys, I'll be eating it after. All right, so I did that. Now this middle one, do not waste shit, okay? Asian people, we do not waste anything. We don't waste no money, we don't waste no food. We gonna throw this bitch in there. Smash. Mix, mix, mix. And then the most important part, like I said, if you have your mom or grandma making you fresh padak, I hate you, okay, in advance. I don't, okay? My parents are in Laos, so. I just gotta make it work and do it with kapit. So with the kapit, I would say I do half a tablespoon. Throw that bitch in there. God, it smells good. And I'm like that. And I'm like that in, uh, in English. That's in Lao, but in English, it literally means saliva explosion. Because I'm salivating. <laughs> Fire with no R is so far. Okay, so my sauce is done, okay? Now the last two things, I'm gonna put the tomatoes in and then the papaya, the most exciting part ever. But these cherry tomatoes, you can cut it, you know, I don't know, sometimes I'll cut it in half. But then sometimes I'll like throw some whole ones in there too. It just depends. Like I say, I like different textures, different sizes of, of stuff. So when you do 
eat it. Every bite is exciting, you know? So I cut like half of it in there and then I'm just gonna throw the rest in because I'm lazy. <laughs> no, it's for flavor, it's for flavor. So let's smash these little hoes up. Okay guys, now that my sauce is ready to go, we gonna sprinkle the papaya inside. You know, I hope you guys really um, try it out at home. I know that you guys will watch this and be like, I don't know, I'm gonna just go home and allow a friend to make it. Like, no, just do it yourself, you know? You can customize it how you want and all of that, so I hope you do. Specifically talking to all my Filipino friends. I'm tired of fucking making tamahu for y'all, okay? So, let's sprinkle this papaya in. Slow more. It's raining papaya. All right, guys, this is the most exciting part. How I'm gonna fucking do this, okay? So, my motion is you do like this, and then you scoop up. Do like this, scoop up, do like this, scoop up, okay? And just keep going for like a minute. And we're almost done. Let's go. All right. Okay, we are done, guys. Time to plate it. So my plate, I have put some cabbage on there. Nice and cute. I'm going to all right, guys, looks like we are ready to plate it and eat this motherfucker. Yay! Yo, let's not. Yes! Mmm. Got all the juices go all over. There you have it, guys. Papaya salad. Tamo home. Hope you guys enjoy it. Of course, I'm going to eat it. So you guys can salivate, but here, you know what I got hidden? You know what the fuck I got hidden, motherfucker? Some goddamn chitaron. <laughs> so we like eating this with, oh fuck. <laughs> I just threw that bitch. I'm so excited. So we eat this with a like, cabbage. You can eat it with like some noodles, some uh, kapun or vermicelli noodles. But my favorite is always with kibmu or what we call chitaron. So this how you do it. I'm gonna taste it just by itself first, actually. Cause I know this shit bata be fire as fuck. That's just slap slap, okay? All right, next, we wanna do this? Oh, that's your bomb. Cheers, big ears. And who can love you like me? Guys, did you guys have as much fun as I did today? All right, I'm gonna go eat all this shit by myself now. So leave me alone. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bro, that's fucking good as fuck. <laughs>